Hello, beautiful souls, divine beings. Welcome in this lovely space with me. I have decided to do another or to give away another free reading, a personal reading. So if you are interested in that, I want to do the same as last time because it was so beautiful. So if you are interested in that, then leave a comment below this video with a blessing. A blessing for you, a blessing for a loved one, a blessing for loved ones or a blessing for humanity at large, just a blessing that really comes from your heart. And then I will allow spirit to pick someone out and I will announce that somewhere next week, I think. I will uh, announce that on my channel. So if you are interested in that, then leave a comment with a blessing. And if you are interested in today's reading, the full moon reading, then I see you in your reading. Hello, beautiful souls, divine beings. Welcome in this lovely space with me. Whomever chose pile one, I have a message for you. Today's reading goes into the full moon reading. What does this full moon has in store for you? What are the energies around you? And I will look into what is your overall energy. And then I will look into the challenges and the possibilities, the opportunities for you during these full moon days this full moon cycle. So pile one, the first thing that comes through for you is peace. And there are two scenarios. For some it's you are in a state of peace. You are in a very peaceful state. For others it's, it's really important to come to a peaceful state. There is a lot of silence in here also. And what I see for you also is I see you or I see someone laying horizontal, very peaceful, and I don't hear anything. It's very silent. I just see a text balloon which, which says peace. So there is really this sense of, also in the energy, it's very silent. And for most of you, I feel it's very important to come to a silent state. Because what I also see is like someone falling from a, from a very high place, but falling like tumbling down. And it's someone else than the person that is lying. And it feels like the person that is lying is you. So this other vision that I get, it's like someone is stumbling down. And it's very important for you to allow that to happen without interfering in there. The main energy that comes through for you is really silence. It's very important to be in silence, to be in peace. And what I also get in here is downloads. Clarity. But it feels... Go back to the beginning, if for some, if you are already in a very peaceful state, or if you easily find yourself in a peaceful state, then a lot of downloads, a lot of um, insights are coming to you during this full moon. But for others, it also feels like taking a break from trying so hard to see something. And then I come back to this 
this person that is tumbling down so it feels like for some you are really trying to trying too hard to understand why something something or someone maybe this is according to a relationship but something is falling down and i i feel you trying very hard to understand that and spirit is really coming through here with um don't react be silent allow everything to happen the way it happens whatever is falling down let it fall down and don't try so hard to understand this go within and find your own peace find your silence And patience is also coming through here. So it, it really feels like for most of you, you are trying too hard on something. Silence. Silence, silence, silence. So this full moon cycle for you is an invitation for most of you like i say for some you are already there and then you are getting um, upgrades downloads um, but for most of you it's really an invitation to be in silence to be in peace Don't try to do anything. Just allow whatever is falling to fall. Because it's meant to fall. And there is no need for you to interact in any way within that situation. I will look into, into challenges for you. Although this might already be a challenge for some to don't interact in this. There is also a distance in here. So in a, in a sense it feels like it's not directly related to you. But it also is. And it's about creating a certain distance in there, being in your peaceful bubble for some time and allowing that whatever it is that is falling down to fall down from a certain distance. And instead of focusing on that situation that is falling down to fully focus on your silence on yourself This feels very difficult for some, because I feel resistance in here, this pulling to, I want to interact, I want to react on that. But spirit is really coming through and advising you to don't do that. And I also hear now if if you are if you want this thing that is falling down whatever it is if you want this to um
To stay is not an option, but there is a possibility in there for this to renew. But to allow the space for this to renew, it first has to fall down. And the possibility of this renewing, of this being born again out of ashes, so first falling down, first burning, without your interference, the possibility for it to, to, to rise again out of the ashes is a lot more um, big. The possibility is a lot more big if you just allow it to fall down now without interfering. So it feels for some you want to interact to help or to hold this together. But again, if you want this to, to renew in a sense, it's about taking your hands off and really focusing on your silence. Closing your eyes for it in a sense. Which doesn't mean you don't care, but it's really important to silence. Go within. Find your peace, your peace. Only your peace is important here now. Yeah, it's really about challenges coming through now and it's, it's that situation that really asks from you to to distance yourself from it as much as you can. And also this, what I said, there is this, this sense of I want to understand, I really want to know why or yeah, just wanting to understand, but trying too hard. And then there is this distance from it, focusing on your own peace, and by focusing on your own peace, without any effort from you trying to understand, the clarity will come in the right time. But it will not come with, with digging after the truth. It will not come by digging in it, why this, why that, how this, how that. So it's really peace. But I, it comes through also in the challenge. And I feel that also. For most of you, this is, this is quite challenging to distance yourself from it. But spirit is coming through and, uh, and really advising you to do this and advising you to stand strong for yourself in here. To stand strong and choosing yourself now in this moment. And the Ace of Swords is here, so clarity is, is, is coming to you, but not, <clears throat> not by digging in it now. It's, it's not coming from the right place. It's coming from a place of control, this wanting to know now. And this should be surrendered. And when you can surrender that that control of wanting to know why, the answers will come. But first, peace. So whatever you can do to find peace within, do that.
yeah there is really guidance extra guidance and advice here also it's it's about offering yourself that place of peace without feeling guilty about it knowing that what you are doing now is for your highest good but also for anybody else involved in this situation because you choosing you is also showing to anybody else involved in this situation the importance in the first place of taking care of yourself and by you doing it for yourself you are embodying it and in by embodying it you are also teaching without directly teaching but just by you doing it for yourself you are showing other people involved or another person involved in this situation how to take care of themselves and what really comes through here is do not feel guilty for choosing you do not feel guilty for choosing you but offer yourself this moment of peace offer yourself this moment of silence it's going to be beneficial the most beneficial thing in any in any direction so this full moon is really asking from you to find peace be silent and distance <clears throat> from whatever situation is is bothering you is keeping you busy okay opportunities for you this full moon cycle If you hear any sounds, <clears throat> it's my dog, my sweet dog. She's very peaceful and the energy also here, it's very peaceful. And this is... I say some are already there but for most of you this is what you have to find for yourself or create for yourself and it will for once homecoming homecoming within yourself what did I say this peaceful situation is really what you need to create for yourself it will it's just exactly what you need is what I feel and here exactly what you need just peace just peace the opportunities in here we have the six of cups the seven of wands the two of pentacles and the six of pentacles this also feels like especially with the six of cups and the two of pentacles here this is like a certain behavior that you used to do with this interference i want to interfere i want to react which is very different than acting reacting is most of the time coming from human ego 
something happens and we want to react. Not always, but most of the time reaction is is coming from our human ego, from our programs. And it, it also feels in here that this is a program that is with you for some time already. And there is a sense of yeah, this control again that is coming through. So it's a certain behavior that you have learned yourself or have been acting out for some time already and where it's now up to you to do something different to instead of interfering in that situation choosing you and there is also with the six of pentacles here what i want to clarify it because it comes through as an opportunity it feels like there is an opportunity in here to to integrate a new form of acting. To learn to give to yourself in the first place what you need instead of giving to others. But it does feel tricky for some. I feel that also in here. Which is completely understandable. If you are used to do something and then we we want to learn to do something in a different way, it can be tricky. But there is an opportunity in here to, to change that around. There is, there is like a sense in here also of generosity towards yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups and the Ten of Swords. It's really this, this integration of something different that is in here as an opportunity. By you choosing your peace, you can integrate a new kind of uh, behavior, a new way of acting that is coming from the right place, that is coming from a place of self-love and self-care. And there is also an opportunity together with this whole situation. There is an opportunity here to, to allow yourself to act on what your, your intuition and your gut feeling is telling you. And what you before... Um, you heard your intuition, you felt your intuition, you felt that gut feeling, but you didn't always act on it. And now there is this opportunity. It's like it's also been supported by this full moon to make that choice for yourself. To really do an act of self-love within here, which will benefit you in a very beautiful way. With the Knight of Pentacles, with the Page of Pentacles. It's like it's... it's, And with the Ten of Swords, like I say, there is really a, a sense of integration in here also. Mm -hmm. 
And with the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, it's this solid base that has been laid out with the Queen of Cups, this solid base that has been laid out with acts of self-care, with acts of self-love. So that is the opportunity in this situation. So pile one, whatever shows up for you within this full moon, within this full moon cycle, and you feel tempted to interact in a situation from which your intuition tells you it's better not to do it, go within, do your utmost best to find silence, to find peace. Don't try to understand anything. Don't try to do anything. Just be silent. Be in peace. And the things will get clear in the right moment. And when you do that, it's an opportunity for you to um, solidify your base even more within self-care, within self-love. And do your utmost best to don't go into guilt within this situation. See it from a different perspective. Because if you choose you, you show another how they have to choose themselves. So even though it can be harsh sometimes to say no, it's the right thing to do for all involved. You are also helping by choosing you. Okay, my beautiful pile one, this is what I have for you. I'm sending lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace and blessings for each and every one. Hello, beautiful souls, divine beings. Welcome in this lovely space with me. Whomever chose pile two, I have a message for you. And today's reading goes into this and the energies of the full moon surrounding you. So I'm going to look into your overall energy and then I'm going to see at the challenges and the opportunities for you during this full moon cycle. And I will also go into guidance and advice um, during or after. Let's see how it comes through. So pile two. Before I start with the cards and with the runes, what I see for you is giraffe. The spirit of the giraffe is coming through. If you hear any sounds, breathing sounds, it's my sweet, sweet doggy. She's snoring and sleeping. Um... And also this I want to share because it also came through in pile one and it really feels a collective message also that it's in this full moon it's very important to take some moments where you are really in peace and to take enough rest, to sleep enough, to really listen to what your physical body needs and to give that to your physical body. Besides that, the giraffe is coming through for you, and the spirit of giraffe, it's... There is a... In what I, in the vision I see, it's, it's a very joyful... Um, a joyful presence. But the spirit of giraffe, she brings a message of higher intuition, of having overview, um, of looking... Um, looking at your surroundings mm -hmm. and also the way it comes through here it's it's almost like it's almost like a comic there is something very there is a funny vibe in here so your overall energy is is one of being very tapped into your higher intuition mm. or there is a possibility for you to be very tapped into your higher intuition 
still being very grounded because it's not like you are flying. You are still with your feet on the ground, grounded, but very uh, tapped into your higher intuition. But there is, like I say, there is a very funny vibe in here. Also, the way I see her moving, how she puts out the neck. I don't know why I say she, but it feels as a feminine energy that is here. So it's this funny, joyful, feminine energy of, I'm just going to look and see what is here. So it's this, it's a very joyful sense of exploration that is in here. So I feel you in a very joyful, explorational energy, which is really nice. It's really nice. And although there is, because I pulled some cards and I pulled some runes already, and although there is fear coming through, it's like you are, it's like you are sticking your neck through the fear. It's like, it, it's this, this sense of, yeah, yeah, I know it's fear, but it doesn't, it doesn't harm me anymore. This. So, or you feel like that, or this is really available for you during this full moon. But again, coming back, um, it's really beneficial for everyone to really listen to your body in these full moon days. Really take enough rest, sleep enough, um, yeah, rejuvenate. But again, this is, it feels very, very funny. Funny. Funny and adventurous. We also have the, because we have Sowelu, which is the energy of the sun and wholeness and Urus, strength. So it's like you are very, I feel you very strong and very on top of your, of your game, being able to see through the illusion, being able to see like, okay, if fears show up, I just stick my neck through. Sticking my neck also through the clouds um, and seeing seeing it for what it is and, and finding the joy in there. Finding the fun in the journey that you are on in this moment. So this is available for you. And even though it's it's challenging, because I feel some challenges in here also with the fear, with the tower, with the... The, the journey, it's not so much that it's easy, but you are really enjoying it. Because you have this higher perspective, because you are really tapped into your higher intuition, you are tapped into this higher view, which allows you to see, to see the things from a very joyful and fun perspective nice really nice enjoy this energy it's here for you or it's you I like this let's see um, challenges I'm first gonna look into challenges Because there are some challenges. What I feel already is this. Um, how you call this? In my language we say res rond de wereld. It's like a. Um, it's a parkour. You have to do. With a lot of challenges. But it's a game. And it feels like you are. 
you are taking the challenges from out of that perspective. You're like, okay, uh, a challenge shows up for you and you are like almost enjoying it. Like, okay, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to in this, this, what I said, the race around the world, it's like a parkour and then you have to do things. You have to jump over things. Sometimes you cannot, um, you cannot touch the ground. So you have to swing on things. And this vibe is in here. Like, let's just play the game. Let's just play the game. And whatever shows up, I'm going to use my talents and my gifts. And I'm going to gracefully and joyfully take this journey. Really nice vibe. Really nice vibe. It's like you gain a certain clarity, have gained or will gain in these full moon days that you didn't have before. Again, to the, to the giraffe, this higher perspective, being connected with your higher intuition and just being able to see the things for what they truly are from a gra very grounded position. But seeing it for what it is, and because of that, you find the joy in there. It's an active energy also. It's like this day, like I say, you are like jumping around and taking the swing and jumping from, from one island to another island and just taking the parkour as if it is a game. Okay, that's interesting. As your challenge, let me clarify this. As your challenge, we have here Justice, the Empress, the Nine of Cups and Temperance. As being a challenge. <clears throat> Incredible. Pile two, what are you doing? To clarify within the challenge, we have justice clarified by the six of wands, the empress clarified by the ten of cups, the nine of cups clarified by the fool, and the temperance clarified by the empress as being your challenge. It's like there is no challenge in here for you. And it makes sense, like I said before, because I see some challenges, but you just have this perspective. Oh, it doesn't matter what shows up. I'm just going to play the game. I'm just going to take the parkour and I'm going to do my utmost best to, to take it as good as I can. I also feel very protected in here. You feel very protected. It's like, because there is this fear, but I see you like looking on top of the fear and seeing it as being just a program. So whatever shows up for you, it doesn't catch you. That's also why this, it's, these cards are beautiful. We have here, in the first place, three major arcanas with the Nine of Cups. This is major with the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. And then to clarify, we have the Ten of Cups, 
two two other major arcanas, the Fool and the Empress again, with the Six of Wands, which is success, which is achievement, it's it's victory. So, what I feel for you really here is this. You are just perfectly aligned, perfectly in balance, and you, you just take anything that shows up for you in a very joyful way. So nothing is a challenge for you within this full moon cycle. And I'm very grateful that I can bring a message like that. So thank you. No challenges for you. I, I will want, to, I do want to look into opportunities that are in here for you. Also the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck to clarify again. It's like this, it's just clear for you. Something is or something gets very clear for you, which makes this... which makes your path a very joyful one in this moment. That's a really, like I say, thank you for, for for being here, that I can offer a message like this, because it's beautiful to bring a message like this. It's very joyful. It's very, um, very pleasant to bring something like this. In your opportunities, we have the Nine of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. Beautiful. So, this brings it all together. It's like... With the King of Pentacles here, it's the, the king who masters the earthly plane, who masters anything that is material. And he's sitting on his throne and he just has everything under control. He's very in, in a very stable position. In front of him, to show you how they come out, in front of him there is the Page of Wands, and he's like looking, it's like he's looking at the past. The Nine of Wands, which is the wounded warrior. And he's like looking at it. And just with the Eight of Wands here, which stands for a very rapid movement, but it also stands for communication coming in, messages coming in, messages from above. Um, clarity, fast communication, but the way he's looking at it, it's like he's just looking at his past <clears throat> and received already all this, or is receiving all this from out of this position. I hope you can follow what I say. I'm going to put them back. It's like you are in a stable position. You are in this grounded position, feet on the ground, with your head very high, very connected, very uh, yeah, connected with your higher intuition, with your higher guidance, and taking this part in a very joyful way. And you are just looking back at yourself being that wounded warrior from the past and having integrated all of that, all of 
what is coming from the past. It's like it's being integrated in you, which now puts you by you having looked at it or looking at it bringing you here now in this position being very much on top of your game sitting in your throne and taking this path taking whatever shows up for you now from out of a place of security of safety Again, this is what I felt. You are, you feel very protected. You feel very carried, supported. And you can see the fear that maybe sometimes still shows up or the illusion that sometimes maybe still shows up. You can see it from above. You are looking on top of it by everything you have integrated from the past okay 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 what because it's in an opportunity here and i come back to this um take enough time to to be in peace to sleep to take a to take rest to listen to your physical body and as an, as an opportunity in here what i also feel in here is that it can be beneficial for you to just look back at yourself from the past and when you look back at yourself from the past, there will be more things, more messages coming to you for integration, which, which will put you even more into this stable position. So take also some extra time to look in the mirror, to look at yourself, to reflect on where you come from and where you are now. Because it will lead you even more into stability. Even more. Okay, my beautiful pile two. This is what I have for you. I think. Is there something else? This is what I have for you. And I would say enjoy. Enjoy this full moon cycle. Because like I say it feels very very fun for you. So enjoy. But do take some time to reflect. It's going to be very beneficial for you. Enjoy the, the journey that you are on. But also take some time to reflect. Take enough time to take care of your human vessel also. And look at where you come from. And acknowledge yourself in that process. Okay, my beautiful pile two, this is what I have for you. I'm sending lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace and blessings for each and every one. Hello, beautiful souls, divine beings. Welcome in this lovely space with me. Whoever chose pile three, I have a message for you. And today's reading goes into this full moon cycle. What does this full moon cycle has in store for you? What are the energies surrounding you? So I'm going to look into your overall energy um, during this full moon cycle. And I will look into um, challenges and possibilities for you during this cycle. And I will also go into guidance and advice according. So pile three. Um, what I get for you already. What I see is it's an interesting one and it's not for all but at first i feel you in a very strong position according to healing 
And what I see for you is I see you in like the Rocky Mountains and there is a bird that is coming from the sky but it feels like at first it feels like the bird is diving but then your vision shifts and you look into the distance and on top of a of a mountain but it's a flat mountain this really rocky mountains image there is a, a native american on a horse and he's shooting arrows and the moment you look at him you see the arrows come and there is one arrow that is that is um, touching you that is piercing you and you go down but there the vision stops so i try to to i tried to look further but i cannot go further i don't see you fall i just see you moving backwards and then i pulled some rooms and i pulled some cards already and what i get from the runes is the blank rune and the rune of defense so what i really sense in here for you pile three is that this full moon is offering you clarity in a certain um, program of defense some behavior you have where you go into defense that is coming from a past life and this will be um, this will be shown to you it will be put into your awareness or it will be it will be put into your remembrance you will remember a certain situation that happened to you in the past which makes you understand why you act in a certain way within this life and it has to do with defense in a certain of in certain situations you go into defense and it's like you didn't understand or fully understand before why you acted in that way but something will be shown to you which is related to past lives that will give you this ah of course now i get it now i understand why i act in this way or why i acted in this way and there is something coming to you something that is like destined to happen something is showing up on your path that is destined to happen that will click that for you someone will bring you a message someone um, will do something say something you will meet someone or you will encounter certain um, symbols pictures something will show up for you and your intuition gonna speak very loud to you in that moment and there is clarity in there for you to understand why you act in a certain way and it feels like by you understanding that in that moment where it comes from that you can also let it go It's like a very strong um, it's a very big part within your healing journey. It's gonna click big pieces of the puzzle completely together. So like I say, this is not for all, but if you feel spoken to with this, this is really available for you within this full moon. Or something will happen during this full moon cycle which will lead you to that point. And it also feels like by understanding, by getting this aha moment, that you open up something that was blocked before. 
And for many of you, it feels like you have been digging. You have been digging for, for quite some time already to understand why. Why you act in a certain way. And there it clicks. There it clicks and, you, and, and it feels like you can also let it go in the moment that you understand where it comes from. It's really been offered to you. It's really, it's really available for you here. And again, it's strong. It's not like one puzzle, puzzle piece uh, falling into place. It's like many puzzle pieces falling into place with this remembrance, with this understanding. And that opens you up for your Nine of Cups. You know, it's wish fulfillment. For many of you, this is something that is coming from you. It is it's coming with you through your uh, generations, through your parents' line, mother or father. Okay, I'm going to look into first challenges. Hi, it's like you had a, a, blind, a, a blind spot before for something. So it's just something you couldn't grasp, you couldn't understand, and it kept you busy, consciously or unconsciously. And this is just putting it in the light. Get this, of course, now I get it. Now I understand why. And also because of that, there is this, this release, this opening. For some, this has to do with religion also. I'm intrigued by the fact that I am unable to 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 look into what happens when that arrow hits you why can i not uh, okay that's it that's it i'm intrigued by that it it keeps me busy why can i not see if you are falling down if you are standing up what are you doing and it, it keeps me busy, it intrigues me, it comes back, why can I not see that? And that's exactly what you are dealing with. You are not understanding it up until the point that it's been shown to you. And it's, it was frustrating, or it is, before the point that it's been shown to you, it's frustrating, because you want to know. It feels very important for you to know this, to understand this, to see this, to remember this.
Ten of Wands, but in this, in this deck, the blindfold, first thing that catches my attention, the blindfold, the, the, the rune also, the, the blank rune, the unknown, the unseen, it's something, also with me, I couldn't see in that vision, it's something unseen, it's something unknown that is, or that feels very important for you to see and to know. And because it's here, the Ten of Wands, which is the end, the end of the Minor Arcana, it's the end of the Suit of Wands, so it's, it also feels like an ending of being unable to see why. So clarity, there is an opportunity for you to find clarity why you act in a certain way, where it comes from. Challenges, Ten of Cups, Queen of Wands, the Star again. The Three of Wands and the Seven of Wands. In the challenges. Let me clarify this first. What I feel in here is the challenges mostly coming from before because what I said also this around this full moon something might happen that will click that will show it to you or something might also happen that will lead to that but there is something happening that is related to this and as a challenge coming through before you get this clarity, there is this behavior has been um, has been causing troubles within your relationships, within your overall feeling of well-being. It has caused blockages within your creativity. It's, it has caused blockages within your, um, your ability to manifest um, the things you have in mind, the things you see for yourself. It has been causing many blockages in many different aspects of your life. And it has asked, it has asked from you to or not it has asked from you, it has um, programmed you in, in a very um, defensive mode. It has made you very, I feel anger in here also. Anger, frustration, uh, conflict, uh, battle, um, having, to def having to defend yourself. Or acting defensive, we come back to this. Whatever happened there caused you to act in a defensive way. But I feel it in here, in different areas of your life. It's like you have been um, pushing away your happiness, your creativity, your... Um, your ability to manifest the, the, the things you see for yourself, your dreams. It has caused you to, to procrastinate. It's, it has caused blockages in, in different areas of your life.
and if it's not for all then it has caused blockages or in your overall fulfillment or in your creativity or in your ability to manifest and there is a lot of frustration in here so as it comes through now within this full moon cycle as being a challenge so up until that moment that you're going to see this be aware that your your feeling of um being unfulfilled in certain areas of your life or in a certain area of your life is related to this and try to find peace within the promise that it will get clear to you something will show up for you that will instantly remove this by understanding where it comes from so there is this challenge in here that um up until the moment that it's been that it's been shown to you in whatever way um it might be challenging to to be patient in there but trust because it's really it's it's coming through so strong there is something else in here I also feel in here that for some it might be very tricky or it might be a challenge to accept to accept that it has caused so many blockages this is not for all this is for someone or for some but there is really an advice here, spirit coming through with the guidance. Um, it's part of your journey. Find your place of acceptance according to this. There is also divine timing within this situation. So accept it for what it is, because that is also a part of the process of being able to fully release it and being able to open that um, that way to your wish fulfillment acceptance 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 accept acceptance for someone or for some and another message coming through with this is um, be open to this clarity that is that wants to show up for you because if you are too much trapped in this these areas of your life that are being blocked by this um, you will also not be open or might also not be open to receive the clarity that wants to come in I hope you understand that so do your utmost best to don't um, identify with certain areas in your life that feel blocked now instead of identifying with it instead of dwelling in that pull yourself out and be open to receive be open to receive the clarity that wants to come in according to this Because again, if you, if you be open for this, it's like just with this one understanding from where this comes from, this aha moment, 
that all these areas click open. So don't dwell, do your utmost best to don't dwell in whatever is not flowing now. Pull yourself out and be open to receive this clarity. Okay, let me look into opportunities for you. Hangman on the bottom of the deck. Opportunities for you. This is a, your world or your experience of your journey being completely flipped upside down. Beautiful. As opportunities for you, we have the Three of Swords, the Devil, the Two of Wands, and the Chariot. So this is really an opportunity for you to to choose and open yourself up. For, for a path that is successful, that is victorious instead of toxic and painful. This is the opportunity that is in here for you. So altogether, it might be challenging to don't get trapped in all the blockages that this thing has caused you. But be open for it. Be open to receive the clarity because something will click that will shift your experience of your journey of life from a painful, toxic one into a victorious one. Into one where you are in charge of your life. You are driving your ship, I want to say. You are driving your wagon. You are in charge. Instead of you being ruled by programs that you carried with you from past lives. So there is an opportunity in here for freedom. For true freedom. So my beautiful pile tree, be open, be open and receptive for whatever wants to come in for you. Because again, it feels big, not just one puzzle piece, but a lot of puzzle pieces falling in place with this understanding that will come to you. And then opening you removing all these blockages into your wish fulfillment. So take this opportunity. Do your utmost best to don't get trapped in whatever is blocked. Pull yourself out and be open 
be open for whatever wants to show up for you. Okay, my beautiful pile tree, this is what I have for you. I'm sending lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace and blessings for each and every one.